Thank you guys, I appreciate it a bunch. You know, I'm, I'm stoked to see this many people in this class. I mean, you know, I, we're all students of the game. I, I love fishing. Um, I, we constantly strive to learn about fishing. And I don't know if you, you guys know my history, but uh, I'd never even had a bass boat till I was about 30 years old. And uh, I started fishing bass tournaments shortly thereafter. And uh, I'm 46 now, so that's 16 years. And for the last nine years, I've made a pretty good living with this rod and reel right here in my hand. So, uh, but, but early in my career, probably about the second year I really got into tournament fishing, I went to a bass university, just like you guys are sitting here. And, I, and, we, and it was probably about the same format, but there was one person that spoke that day that really cha changed my outlook on fishing. And I, I couldn't tell you who the other five guys were there that day, but that one guy was Denny Brower. And I didn't get to compete against Denny, but a few times like in some, some ever starts and strands and stuff, but he opened my eyes to this flipping and pitching thing. And, and ever since then, I've dedicated, you know, pretty much my entire fishing uh, life to becoming the best at this that I could possibly be. And that's why today I wanted to talk to you guys about it because, and, and, and go into detail about every little piece to the puzzle, because I think if you understand it all, I mean, you guys, you guys can take it to your home lake, because literally it's a technique that works for me from South Florida to Lake Champlain to last year we went out. Two lakes in that parking lot out there. And I could tell you, you can go, you can go to this lake right here and you can catch five fish. They're all come, probably gonna be about two pounds. And then this other lake, I said, you can go over here, you can catch one, but it's gonna be a big one. Which one would you go to? Is anybody gonna go to the one where the two pounders are? <laughs> not, not one person. That is why I like flipping and pitching. I may not catch the most fish, but really at the end of the day, at the end of a tournament day, as long as I got five fish, they don't know if I caught 100 or if I just caught five, really. And, and, and really the five biggest ones at the end of the week is the guy that's gonna win. And, and I firmly believe that big bass like to be in a round, heavy cover. And we're gonna break all that stuff down today. We're gonna to talk about grass, we're gonna talk about logs, docks, all that good stuff that I love to target with this technique. I'm gonna educate you guys on line. And we'll start with fluorocarbon because I think it's a lot easier than braid. As I said, I like to use it around wood. Um, the reason being is it's real quiet. Braid digs in to, to wood. Whether you're fishing docks or laydowns or, or buck bushes, if you fish with braid, it's gonna get hung up a lot more because it'll actually saw a little notch. If you pitch a bait in there and you're yo-yoing it up and down, it's gonna saw a little notch in there and you get hung up. And I don't like the noise it makes against wood. But uh, for me, I use gamma fluorocarbon. I usually use anything from 14 to 20 pounds. Now, 20 pound gamma fluorocarbon's pretty big. I don't know if any of y'all have used it, but you know, I like Berkeley a lot, I like Suffix a lot. They all make, you know, good, good line, but you gotta compare apples to apples, just like the reel and the writing on the box. It's the same thing with line. You can take Berkeley 25 pound and hold it out, and you can take the line that I use, 20, 20 pound, and the 20 pound gamma is still bigger than 25 pound Berkeley. So, and, and, and you know, the line I use has got a lot of memory, and most fluorocarbon does. It's just something you have to deal with. I love the advantage of fluorocarbon because it has low stretch and it's really invisible in the water. Any questions on the line? Okay, braid. I get tons of questions on this, and it's something I've spent a lot of time studying. I hope you enjoyed the preview clip. And for more like that and the entire collection, subscribe to the Bash University TV. And if you want the tackle that you see on there, I want you to go to the Bash University Tackle Shop, powered by Tackle Warehouse, and click right here, and it's all at your fingertips. If you want to become a better angler, you want to catch more and bigger bass at your local pond, then check out Bass University TV for hardcore bass fishing information. Hey, I'm Pete Gluzek. And I'm Mike Iaconelli. And this is Bass University TV. 
Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. Everywhere I go in the country, I'm trying to use these techniques because I catch big fish that way. From on the water to in the classroom. We want to use that bait to help make that area even smaller and really, really find that sweet spot. You'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. You want something that's got a nice limber action that's gonna allow you to build pressure and keep those hooks pinned against that fish's mouth. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Hold on, because you're gonna catch some big <laughs> fish. Information is power in the sport of fishing, so learn from the very best. That's a key theory in all of fishing. Subscribe to Bass University TV today. Man, does it trigger a lot of strikes. Here's the part that you're not going to hear anywhere else. This is the Bass University TV exclusive.